we have now set up in some sense our infrastructure. We have all the definitions in place and we can study topological properties. We know both spaces and continuous functions between topological spaces and these include real numbers, so specifically having either domain or codomain as R or Rn or some subsets of these. Uh, will let us explore the spaces or we can directly in terms of open sets. So topological places, properties are formally those that are invariant under homeomorphism, which means that if two spaces are homeomorphic, if one of them has the property, so does the other. We'll establish quite easily whatever we define as invariant under homeomorphisms because they'll be defined in terms of open sets or closed sets and other such things and homeomorphisms preserve these. So we'll formally prove for each case but it's quite clear from uh, definition that's the case. And the first of these we'll see is the first example we saw informally which is connectedness. Now, so namely if I took a union of two intervals, so this is uh, let's say 1, 2 and 3, 4. This is not connected and uh, in the subspace topology in R and of course if I took a single interval this is connected. Okay. Now the point is, uh, so we have to capture this in the definition. You notice both of these are closed in uh, uh, closed intervals, so they are in fact closed in R so they are closed in the subspace topology. And so the complements are also closed, uh, are open, so, and the complements are each other. Yeah, so the 1, 2 is both closed because it's closed, and it's also open because it's the complement of 3, 4. In fact, you can directly see it's open because inside the real numbers, if I, uh, you have, it's perhaps worth drawing this a little better. So let's get the space again. just so with the repaired pictures this is the real line here is 1 2 and 3 4 this is not connected it has two pieces you can directly see they are open as I was mentioning they're just taking open intervals like this so this this part is open because on this the subspace topology it's the intersection of the open interval with this set okay so the thing is this is open and it's closed uh, this could be a can be taken as the defining property of being connected or not connected in this case. Okay. So if you take a connected set like the real numbers as we will prove uh, an open set is going to be an open interval or a union of these it's never going to be closed unless it's the whole of the real line. So definition as space X is connected this is what we are being defining if the only if only open and closed uh, subsets of X well there are always two of them one of them is X and the other is the empty set so the only sets that are both open and closed are X and phi Okay, so as I s we have been informally looking, so if you have an open and closed set, its complement is also open and closed, and the definition, and if you have two open sets which are disjoint, and their union is the whole space, then they are automatically both closed as well, because they are each other's complements, and vice versa. So we'll see many ways of formulating this, and it's actually quite relaxing to work with uh, this topological definition, and quite easy. We get many sort of intuitive facts captured in this, but uh, before that we have one sort of technical uh, theorem to prove, not hard but it's important, which is R is connected. Essentially the only thing, we could have proved this later, so, you know, there are all the nice properties with, of connectivity are independent of this, but to give some meat to the uh, topological property we have defined, let's prove so that R is connected. Okay, so here's our real line. We want to show that it's connected. Okay, so let's stick. We have to start with a set that is open and closed. That is the thing. So let, let's say A contained in R be open and closed. And let, let's send this line somewhere else. Let me give myself some space. 
So here's the line. Our picture is there. And let A be A belong. So we have a point A. Okay, and we have a set A. I'm not going to draw it. I'll instead draw uh, bits of it as we deduce their part of it. Okay. So as A is open, there's a basic neighborhood. There exists epsilon greater than zero such that A minus epsilon, A plus epsilon is contained in A. Okay, so now let's start grabbing territory for A. We know at least this much territory should be here. Okay, let's expand this as far as it goes. Okay, so let's expand it symmetrically. There are various ways to prove it. There are lots of arbitrary choices. One we'll make is that we are going to expand this symmetrically. Okay, so let's take as large an interval as we can. Okay, I'll draw it in yellow, which is barely visible because we can hardly, we don't know what is here actually. So let's take as large an interval as we can, which is symmetric about A, which is contained in this set. And if it's everything, we are done. Okay, so let S be the set of all C in uh, greater than zero, such that A minus C, A plus C is contained in A. Okay. Now if C is unbounded, oh sorry, not C, S is unbounded, that is, there are arbitrarily large numbers unbounded. It's always bounded below by zero, but if it's unbounded above, that means there are arbitrarily large numbers that contain it uh, so that the interval of size C for arbitrarily large C is uh, contained in A, then it's easy to deduce that A, A is actually R as claimed, as required. So we wanted to show Oh, by the way, when I said let A in A, if there is no point in A, it's the empty set. So we'll be done. Okay, so A non-empty, be A open and closed. So we have to show that it is R. Okay, so if S is unbounded, it's R. Else, let uh, some number K equals supremum of S. Okay, so then here we have two points. This is A plus K and this is A minus K. Okay, so what we know is that if I look at any hence, or by definition, by okay, or let's just say we see, that for any delta greater than zero, if I took something of a size slightly less than K, which is going to be A minus K plus delta, for all delta greater than zero, a minus k plus delta, a plus k plus, a plus k minus delta is contained in a. Okay, we'll use this. So in particular, a minus k and a plus k, these two are limit points. Why is that? Because let's take any interval around this. If I took any small interval around this, which is red, okay, I can put in a point here, which is a minus delta. Sorry, so this is going to be a plus k minus delta, and this is going to be a plus a minus k plus delta. is going to be A uh, minus K plus delta. And we know that this entire set is actually contained in A. So in particular, uh, these points are contained in A, or maybe you have to make it slightly uh, smaller to be contained in A. Okay. So, so if I took a further point here and a further point here, they are contained in A. So any interval around A minus K contains a point in A, and any interval around A plus K contains a point in A. So they are both limit points of A. Well, what do we know about A? It's closed. As A is closed, A minus K uh, belongs to A, and A plus K belongs to A. 
And now let's uh, squeeze in the rest of the proof. Okay, squeeze in only in terms of this sheet of paper. As A is open, well, these two are points in A and they're open. There exists some uh, other number, let's say eta greater than zero, such that, well, a priori they're different etas, take the minimum of them, such that if I took A plus K uh, minus eta and a plus k plus eta, that is a neighborhood around A. This is contained in A and A plus k, uh, A minus k uh, minus eta, A minus k plus eta. Both of these are contained in A. Okay. So now uh, our red neighborhoods had some role. Let's take some blue neighborhoods. What we know is that these two are uh, open, I mean sorry, these two are points contained in A which is open. So it's open and closed. We are alternately using it's open and closed. This means there are blue neighborhoods around these which are entirely contained in uh, this. But now what we know is that if I took a halfway through this neighborhood, let's say, and uh, took delta according to that, then this entire purple region from here to here is also contained inside uh, A minus, uh, is also contained inside the set A. Okay, and so the union is, and the union we can see, I've skipped, I'll not write down a couple of details just to squeeze it into this page. So conclude, what we can conclude is that A plus A, uh, I will write it deliberately in this way, A minus K plus delta, which is A minus K minus delta, and A plus K plus delta is contained in A. Well, what does this imply? Yeah, so that's simply because it's a union of sets, one of which is going almost up to A plus K and A minus K. Formally, I take delta being equal to this eta by two, so you take delta is eta by two here and take the union of that and this and this and you'll see it contains, uh, it is exactly this set. Okay. So conclude this is contained in A. Well, what does this tell you? So K plus delta, uh, capital K plus delta is in S, is in this set S. Okay, contradiction, contradicting. K is supremum of S. So this is a standard analysis argument. It's sort of saying so uh, topologically what it's saying, I mean, we're, we're using the analytic property of existence of uh, the uh, supremum. So you could use a metric property of metric completion instead. And these are all, we will see that uh, formally later. But you have to use somehow the completion of real numbers. And the way in which this has been used is you note, you start with a point which is in an open and closed set. So we can expand, find an open neighborhood, expand as much as possible. Well, the place where you hit a barrier, when you could hit only on one side, not the other side, we don't know. But wherever you hit a barrier, those have to still be in the closure because it's the barrier. And so also in the interior, so you can expand further. So you expand all the way to gobble up all of R. Okay, so we have seen that this connectedness is not a vacuous property. That is, there are sets that are non-trivial that are uh, connected. Okay, next time we'll see a much simpler example, meaning in the next video, which is the cofinite topology. But that's not satisfying in the sense that it's an artificial one. So the important thing which we want to think of as connected is connected. Okay, given this now, as I said, we can play around with the definition and get a lot of stuff quite easily.